How's it going guys? Brian back again, I think with uh, the fifth or sixth week of doing this. Uh, I want to say thank you guys so much for sticking around for all the help so far. I know I said pretty much every video, but I can't explain how much. I really appreciate it. I think right now we are at 125 subscribers. It still blows my mind that we've gotten this far, this like this quick. Uh, so for this video, I actually just want to go over several things. Um, and a small pickup I actually did today. So I'll tell you a little bit about my day. I uh, actually had today off as my first day off in about like five or six days. I do not work. I don't work on Monday through Friday. I work every other weekend. So I end up having a day off throughout the week. And usually on my day off throughout the week, I will just do as much as I can possible. So I woke up, got my hair cut. I then went to get my car serviced because I was at like a 55,000 mile service thing for it. Uh, so I had to get that done. And throughout the day, I actually did like a vlog style thing, but I didn't really care for the way it actually came out. It's kind of, it's kind of boring. So well, I don't know if I'm going to use it or not. I may put some clips in, but there's really no point of bother of really doing that because it's basically me just like talking to the camera saying like asking questions and kind of going over things. But instead, I feel like until I have something really to vlog about or something I'm actually doing in public where I can feel comfortable enough doing it then I'm probably going to hold off on those. But the first thing you guys may notice is this is not a, this is a logo on a hoodie, which I'm freaking stoked about. So if you guys follow my Facebook page, I ordered this hoodie on the 28th from Zazzle. Um, the front came out really cool. So I had to fix the back. If you guys want to see the back, there it is right here. So what I had to do with the Contra C's I ended up using, I had to adjust the color myself with those. Uh, because if you looked at it on a Facebook thing or even on Instagram, maybe they're very faded. The yellow was very like pastel yellow, same thing with the orange and there was no reds. I also went around the gray area. I used in the C's with uh, black to kind of make it pop a little more and stick out a little better. I, in my opinion, I think it now it looks freaking sweet. Uh, it fits pretty well. It fits like a medium ish, like smallish medium, but I really can't complain. Uh, that's why I ordered an extra size bigger just in case. If you guys are going to be interested in hoodies like these, or if you do like the style, or maybe like a t-shirt with just this logo, or have this logo on the back, or like pocket tees, I just, I, if you want to let me know, that'd be freaking awesome, because I can uh, actually have them made for fairly cheap, and I'll just charge you guys what it costs me for the t-shirt, which will just be a few bucks, I'll just do like the Gildan brand t-shirts, and I think it's like $7 per logo, so just left pocket, you'd be like $7, so in the end, I think it'd be like $10, plus maybe like $2 for shipping per, uh, T-shirt if you wanted a T-shirt, maybe like $15, $20 for a hoodie. Uh, but I'll definitely get a more accurate price list if you guys uh, do show interest in this. So the things I actually wanted to go over is what kind of videos do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see vlogs or make see me attempt to do vlogs? Uh, do you want to see me more like record videos as I'm game hunting? Or do you want me to just sort of make videos with odds and ends? Like I know I mentioned on my Facebook post today is... Um, do like a top five or ten like energy drinks so buy like ten crazy like energy drinks i've never tried before or even ones i have tried and just do a review about them uh do reviews on pretty much anything just make just do odd videos or stuff that's not even gaming related uh would you guys be interested in that uh but yes on my facebook page i just mentioned though is i do post everything there so definitely if you haven't go down to the bottom in description go to the facebook page and give it a like a follow whatever it's called uh, be great because that's where you see all the updated information on this uh, channel. So another thing is, um, if you guys want to see Let's Plays, definitely let me know. I do want to put a library of what I currently, or sorry, a list of my library of games, so you guys can see what games I currently have. I'm not one for using emulators or ROMs or anything like that. Uh, I will only play what's on my shelf. Uh, I have a, a large variety of games, and I, have, I think I'm able to record pretty much every system except the only one I can't do is my Wii. I think. Um, actually, I could, uh, no, I can't actually, no, I can't do Wii. Um, everything else I can. Uh, and so if it's like Xbox One, uh, Wii U, and then I have all my retro consoles, so I use my Retron 5 for a lot of, uh, recording. If you guys want to see Let's Plays, let me know, because the style I want to do with Let's Plays is I will read the front of the game, read the back of the game, show you guys a picture, tell you about it. It's going to be games I'm probably really crappy at, but I think it's, uh, definitely going to be a learning experience for myself as well as you guys, because you guys may... Be new to the game as well, and you may see uh, make the same mistakes I may make uh, while I'm playing. Uh, yeah, if you guys want to, t to tell me anything, like I'll even I think I'm gonna make like an about me video or like an intro video of who I am because 
now I feel like I've had like a little established group of friends that I respect. I love all you guys right now. Um, I think it's about time I tell you guys about me, which I'll do in a second video. Maybe do two videos for our next week because it's Friday. And I actually don't make a video till like Tuesday or Wednesday night, so I'm definitely getting a big head start on this. So let me actually go back and tell you more about my day. So I ended up, like I said, getting my hair cut, getting my car serviced. Uh, then since I was in Warwick, Rhode Island, the time capsule is that store I did in episode two, which I got the half off deal. So I picked up my second nomad, my box power base converter, some master system titles. I went back there again. Uh, I also went to, actually I'll, I'll go into that first. Um, so I went back there and actually the owner was there. I talked to him about possibly doing like a on, on the hunt video, like I did for retro games plus and just doing like a review about the store, kind of how. I did for, yeah, like I said, Retro Games Plus, because I think a lot of stories, if you guys are ever in the area, or if you guys, let's say, most of you from Connecticut or Massachusetts, wherever, and you come to Rhode Island or on the border, maybe like Eastern Connecticut, Southern Massachusetts, and you're looking to go get, uh, do some game hunting, I want to do videos on local stories that are local to me, and I want you guys to recommend stores, so I can just go there, do a simple review, as long as it's a positive store, like, I want you to be like, oh, that store sucks, go do a review, and I'm not going to waste my time, because I don't want to give a, com like a business negative feedback. And if I can make the better stories, the ones you guys really appreciate, guys, one, uh, the stories you guys really like, if I can give them a, like a shout out, even there may not be thousands of people I'm shouting out to, uh, even if it's like 50 people, if I can, if a, a few guys just even pop in there, it'd still be cool to see the, that happen. So I talked to the owner. He's completely down with me going in when I had those five or six days off. Uh, he actually did watch the video I did uh, for episode two, I guess, at the time capsule video where I'm a nomad. And he loved it. He said it was really cool. He appreciated all the kind of feedback. He did recognize me at first because um, that's how we got into the conversation. And so he's completely fine with me bringing my camera, which I have right here. Um, I was trying to record a video earlier. Um, and yeah, so that's going to be happening in several days. Uh, after that, I was driving home and I went to Savers Quick. And I actually did get some more games. Like It's very similar to last week when I picked up those bags I mentioned of three games for two bucks, uh, except last week was three for two and then three for three. Uh, I did the same thing. So while well, the time capsule, I grabbed one game and then at Savers, I grabbed 12 games total. So what I'll do is I'll go over the pickup really quick. I don't want to make this video too long. I kind of like to keep them short and sweet. So I'm at 82 unique master system titles or 83. Uh, this one, I grabbed Monopoly today. It's complete. It was only six bucks. I'll definitely grab any master system game for that cheap. So I'll put that, my stack down there, games I need to add to my shelf. Um, yeah, let me actually go into these. So everything here, they came, they come in these bags. I kind of save these bags, not that you guys won't believe me, but you'll see in there just dollar ninety nine, everything. There's a two others right here. I'm not gonna pull them all out. So the first thing I noticed was this bundle right here. Uh, ATV Off Road Fury Two. I think this came with like a bundle. I'm guessing because it says not for resale on the bottom. I do actually have this game, I believe, already. I don't know how I came across it. Uh, I got a copy of World Championship Poker and Guitar Hero 2. Although it's... I would never grab those. I mean, three, $2 for three games. The cases can be used. I don't know what I'll do with them. Maybe I'll just give them to someone. Whatever, it's still completely fine with me. Uh, second bundle I saw was set up like... I don't know, it's kind of like set up like this. Actually, it's SpongeBob in the back. So, another copy of World Championship Poker. Copy of Dr. Mudo, 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 I guess. Um, that's actually the first one I noticed. And in the middle was a copy of SpongeBob SquarePants. As you can tell, this is actually sealed. I don't care for sealed games, but I think I already have this game on PS2. Uh, I think it's some of my, my fiance's had since she was a kid, and then just somehow ended up in my collection. Uh, but it's still pretty cool, though, getting a sealed game. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I was really happy with that. And I then found another bundle, which is Xbox games. So it was Blood Omen 2. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons Heroes, and I might actually like this game. I don't really look about like anything into it, but if it's anything like Dungeon Siege or uh, Heroes of My Magic or any like even Baldur's Gate kind of game, I will probably definitely put a hell out of that. And last one was Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. The um, only thing is those two Xbox games did not have manuals, but regardless, like I said, every set I'm talking about was only two dollars, so it's freaking cool. I went to the back of Savers where they keep like other odds and ends. There was a Super Nintendo there with a huge chip in it, probably like a one scrunch chip. It was eight dollars, but it was yellowing really bad. I should have grabbed it, but I did. I want to save my money for when I have some time off, so I can make sure I do some pretty cool pickups. 
Um, it is what it is. Uh, they had some Xbox controls for about five bucks, but I just passed on those. So, as you can see here, there's three more games I managed to grab. Uh, I didn't grab those with these because when I was walking over to the, like, doing, like, a roundabout, and then you go to, like, a toy section of the opposite side of the store, which I never go to, I just figured I'd walk over there. Corner of my eye, I see these games right here in this exact order. Uh, Valkyrie Profile 2. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Silmaria. Uh, this was pretty pretty cool to get that. I'm not into that, those kind of games, but I may find a friend who, just, who wants it. Uh, another copy of Haunted Mansion. I actually did get this last week. And last, Alvin and Chipmunks. Uh, in the end, it was 8 and changing, 8.35, 8.40 for all those. And then $6 for Monopoly. Can't turn them down. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if you guys just want to leave me any kind of comments um, about where you want me to go or what kind of videos I can do because I don't want to make them boring and I want to do stuff that you guys may not notice. By thinking about me video or an introduction video as to who I am, what I do for fun, um, crap about me, you get things you may want to know. I think that would be pretty fun to do next because since I do, like I said, have a small fo or a good sized following, I don't want to say small following, um, I think it would be pretty cool to get that done now and let you guys just know who I am. Uh, but other than that, if you guys want to leave a like, uh, if you like this video, leave a comment what you think is cool about my pickup or my or the coolest game I got or if you think I got a good deal. Um, or even subscribe if you haven't done that yet. But as always, I really hope you guys liked the video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you all have a great week hunting.